Hello internet people. In this video I'll show you how to add YouTube video as a background in the header on your website. Just using HTML and CSS. I will show you how you can just copy and paste the code so it will work on your website. So I'm not going to go in detail what each line of code does but this is more of a plug and play video. A little bit like the Turkish Rambo and his bazooka. Alright, before we start I just want to mention that YouTube video works well as a background video on desktop but not that good on mobile. On mobile it won't work that well because YouTube blocks it and you can't autoplay it. So the code I will show you works on desktop and on mobile it falls back on the normal background color. Here I have a website and it's built in HTML purely html css and javascript very simple page and i want to spice it up by having a video here so i would like to have a video in this blue part so instead of blue i will have video and i'm going to use youtube video that i found this one it's by dudley story i actually used his code as well i updated it but it's going to be available to you too arnie how do you greet your friends So this is the video. So first step we need to do is actually we need to find where we can embed this. So luckily YouTube has a share functionality. If you click on share and then here you click on embed. And here you can see the iframe code which you will need. But actually for my code you only need this part. You can grab the URL. So you need the, this part and copy. But we're gonna come back to this so this is what you need so first find your video and grab this embed code so now i'm gonna take you to my code it has some php but mostly it's html so you need to find where your container is so for example this blue container here if you right click and click on inspect you'll get this dev tools and you basically need to find the highest level. So in this case, for me, it's this header because here I have already navigation, header. And the best way to see if it's the correct one is when you hover over it, does it cover the whole thingy? So if I go here, you can see that it actually stops already here. So this is perfect. This is what where I want to have my video. So then back to my code here, I have my navigation. You see nav. So I need to find that header somewhere. And it's here. In your case, you might not have a header, but it might be a div. But then you need to look at the class or ID. And I already placed my code here. It's just commented out. I'll leave a link to this code so that you can just copy paste this. And then all you need to do is actually replace this video with your video. Oh, really? We copied the embed and now I can paste it here. But actually it's the same one so for me it didn't change and all of this just makes the video autoplay loop also it's muted when it starts and this way it's much more interesting for your users but for example if you don't want it to autoplay then obviously you can remove some of these parameters it's no problem at all what's important here if you want out to play you need to allow it like this and at the end of this video, I'll show you a nice website where you can adjust all of this. All right. So once you place this code, it has to be inside of your div or a header in this case for me and just after it. So it cannot be inside another div further on because then it might screw up things. And actually this container here is where all my text is. So this stuff, this stuff is actually in that container. So that's good. They have to be next to each other so they were siblings all right and another thing you need to do is also you need to have the css in the description you'll find a link to this code unfortunately youtube doesn't allow code in the description so i can't leave it there directly but basically you can grab this and paste it in your style sheet oh shit no i said sheet yeah man shit i'm saying i said sheet not that no shit okay i give up and all it does, once you have this, we can take a look. 
once I refresh, let's do that. All right, as you can see, now we have a video background. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. The issue with YouTube embedding like this is that you can't control it on a mobile. So if I switch this to a mobile view and then refresh the page, let's switch it. So again, right click, inspect, and then you need to find this icon of devices and you will switch to this one. On mobile, as you can see, YouTube actually blocks you from having it on autoplay or mobile. So you look ugly like this. So unless you only have the video, you look like this and it's super ugly. That's why I actually just prefer to hide it. And that's what the code will do. So basically this code will only work for the desktop version. And you can adjust that the breaking point here. Uh, I put it at 1199 but you can make it smaller if you want to. But for me, this works the best. Good for you. Oh yeah, and one thing I wanna mention is that if you don't have access to your CSS, all you need to do is grab this code, you can copy it, and then you can come to your website. And if you have the head section, so here you have the body and the head, inside of the head tag, you could just add style tags like this, and then paste the code there. And this will work fine. It's preferred method to use the style.css, but you can also put it like this. And the style tags tell HTML that this is actually CSS. Arnie, did that make sense? <laughs> and as a bonus tip, if you want to know how to get different embed options like autoplay, just go to Google and search for YouTube embed generator. I like the one from Classy Nemesis, but essentially they are all the same. Here you will need to add video URL and you will be able to see all the different options that a YouTube video can have. Just pick the features you need and then copy the embed code into your HTML. My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh!